Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to show you what is storage category and how it is being utilized in real-time warehousing management. When you have multiple locations in your warehouse and uh, each location has their own capacity to host or to store uh, the received products. So uh, first of all, I am uh, you know configuring uh, storage category that is I am giving the name of C1 and then here are the policy how this C1 can be utilized. If a location is empty, then allow new products. If all products are same, then only allow this uh, product to host over here or allow mixed product. Currently, I am giving mixed product over here. Weight is also one parameter which we will see later. And then I am giving capacity by product as a parameter like R1 is my product which can allow to host or store under C1 category where 100 units or up to 100 units are there. And I have bind with the location WH stock C1 is the sub location for me. Now I am going to make a purchase. So when I am uh, going any purchase for my R1 product. Maybe uh, I am buying 70 units right now. Okay. And confirm the order. And in my receipt, I am going to receive this. So let's see how that product goes. In my reporting in location, if I go by location, now you can see under 70, uh, under the C1 location, uh, the R1 product has automatically moved because of my uh, put away rule as well as the capacity okay that is one type now i will uh, define the second storage category where i am giving allow uh, you know uh, this all product are same and i am saying like r2 where r2 can be host 100 units and r1 can also host maybe 100 units okay and let's see uh, this time i am going to tweak a little bit what uh, let's say in product r1 i am giving weight to simplify this one unit of measure can be let's say one kg and r2 also a one unit can be 0.5 kg and uh, then i will give a weight parameter also in my category like maximum weight it can host maybe let's say 50 kg okay now the capacity of that location is 100 units and 100 in seats but max weight it can host 50 kg right and uh, in r2 i have given weight of 0.50 per unit okay now uh, what i will do is let's say i am buying r1 and then maybe buying 25 units of r1 and also buying r2 at the same time and that can be let's say 50 units okay I confirm the order and I am going into my receipt. I set quantity, I validate it. Now let's see how this storage category works. Okay, we forget to uh, you know link our location. So let me go to my location. Location C2 it has to be bind with C2. Now just uh, let me you know reorder this and then we will see how it comes so now i am uh, receiving this new product again and validate it and now i am going into my report and location and group by location now you can see it is all, all already here and this r1 r2 all comes over here only okay let's see why it happens it didn't respect okay now we go to storage category again we say if all product are same then only it will come over here so this rule didn't satisfy because i am buying c1 and c2 together uh, r1 and r2 together and both are going to come so it is not respecting it but now if i change the policy if location in empty 
then utilize it and now i am going to buy it again okay the same quantity same unit i am confirming and i am receiving it okay now let's see how it behaves and i'm going into report again location wise oh it's still not coming inside it okay it is still not there so let's change the policy of storage category c2 the location is empty right but due to mixture of product it didn't allow okay now i say allow mix product and now let's see max weight is 50 kg and i am buying again okay and receiving the product so these are uh, small small use cases i am performing right now so everyone can understand how this location and capacity can be combined together still it didn't come okay because of uh, the parameter which we have given we need to modify it so i am going to storage category allow mix product is fine but i am just reducing it to 50 units and uh, let's say i wish to host only r2 in c2 category okay uh, yeah i forget to configure the put away rules so let me configure put away rules first then i think it will work so when r1 comes it is already going into c2 where category is c2 yeah this is what we have forgot so let's not forget to configure this parameter and then we will rerun all the use case because without it it won't work right so now storage category i will say allow mix product i will say r1 also i will host over here it can host up to 50 units now let's buy it again i confirm the order i am receiving the product now let's see our report in location yes so under c2 we already have this products which is coming in r1 and r2 and now in my storage category i will see c2 has been fulfilled and current stock has been here okay so this is how it will work now i will show you the second configuration which is very much important where you can configure storage category with your packaging so because some of the product which are coming in bundle with the singular package like if you buy 50 unit it can be a 50 unit per package so that can also be bind with our storage category first i will uh, take an example and continue with my two product only or uh, let's say i can uh, create a new product from the existing one it can be r3 and here what i will do is i will define my packaging like pellet pellet is a name i have given and this package type the pellet only where inside one pellet it will host 100 units of r3 okay and now i will define my put away rules and first of all i will define a new location c1 c2 is already there then i will define c3 under my wh stock okay. and then we'll create a new category storage categories i will give c3 as a name i will say if all product are same and here you can get an option of capacity by package when i enable that and here i i will say package is pellet and it should host up to four quantity of pellet okay 
I'm not defining any weight over here. And now I will bind my location with my category. And the last thing which we should not forget, it's put away rule. So when any product come into stock and it is R3, okay, and then package type is palette, then it should go to C3 location, having C3 as a category. So this is what we have to configure. And now let's go and buy C3. Oh, sorry, R3 as a product. Where if I'm buying the 300 units, it will be three pellet which is coming in, right? I confirm the order. I'm going to receive the product set quantity. And here we go. Now I go to location wise report. Group by location. And here you go. So R3 has been, uh, you know, product which is move into C3 where there are pellets. Okay, so this is how a two type of storage category I have defined. One is restricted with without weight, with mix of product and with uh, only with uh, capacity by package. This will not work in case of package and product both. It will work either by package first and then second uh, is capacity by product. So that you have to take care always you can configure any of one. And it will also respect weight at the same time if you define weight of that particular uh, storage location that will respect it. If we want to see that, uh, let's check our storage category where we have defined 50 uh, as a maximum weight. And inside my location, I already have certain products, right? R1 and R2. So if I go and check what weight I have configured in R1 and R2, let's revisit. R1 has 1 kg, R2 has 0.5 kg. So 1 kg means 25 kg and 25 kg is already filled up in my storage category. Oh, that is full, but in my product, oh, it's also 50, 50 and uh, R3 again uh, 50, which doesn't have any weight, but I am just increasing my capacity. But in terms of location the 50 units plus 50 units are already there in my current stock r1 still have 50 units which i can host right in the same location so let me check again current stock it's 25 units of r1 and this is my r1 i can still host r1 over here so I'm going and uh, buying a new product, the R1, maybe 10 units. Okay. Confirming the order and receiving the product and validate it. Now let's see what happens in my report. Group by location. Yeah, so R1 has been added over here under my C2 because of it still have a weight capacity. So that's how uh, this entire storage category capacity works in two ways with mixed product and uh, with new product or uh, if same products are there, then it will host according to the package type as well as uh, by number of units and considering weight as a parameter. Hope uh, this will help many people to configure this uh, storage category in their multi-location warehouse and utilize the capacity at its best. Thank you very much.